What's the most overrated tourist destination? Hollywood Boulevard. It's crowded. Full of homeless people. And kind of smells like pee. Edit. To make it clearer which part of Los Angeles if found overrated. The Mona Lisa in Paris. It's relatively small and it's hard to really see anything. It. I went somewhere that's internationally known for being touristy and it was too touristy smelled like piss crowded boring. My favorite when this was asked was somebody complaining they went to Wall Street and it wasn't touristy enough. Like. WTF. Did you expect to be able to jump on the trading floor and buy a stock? The Alien Museum in Roswell NM. I am pretty sure I have said it here before but I will say it all again. My great grandparents had bought a small cabin in Rudos ONM when my mother was 18. So once a year growing up me and my family would spend a week up there. On our way to Rudos we would drive through Roswell. Every year I would beg my mom to stop and take us. She never did. Well finally when she had grandkids they convinced her to stop so they could see the aliens. I was 23 at the time and was absolutely stoked. Yeah well, that was the lamest bunch of shti I had ever seen. I could have looked up X-File posters online. Times Square in New York. It's a tourist trap and the restaurants and shopping aren't really unique to New York City. Why go to Times Square to eat when you can eat at the same places in a midwestern city for cheaper? The gum wall in Seattle. Why would you want to take a picture in front of someone else's chewed up gum? The Little Mermaid in Copenhagen. All of Dubai. Edit. As a Abu Dhabi resident I don't understand the image that many foreign have of Dubai. Dubai is nothing but a shopping center nothing else. The whole country doesn't have much to offer too. Especially the fact that it's a very young country. I've heard countless stories from my foreign teacher, European American, of their friends and family dying to go there. Which they too don't understand. Like I said Dubai is just a touristy attraction all that is there is Dubai Mall and tall ass buildings. Hollywood Boulevard. Growing up right outside downtown LA. We'd always go when family would visit. The huge mall they clearly invested in isn't particularly special. The stars are sitchy and get old quick. And it just gets sad after walking two blocks from the Chinese theater when you start running into homeless encampments. Edit. Also should include obligatory complaint about parking and traffic trying to get there. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Do you really need to take the holding up the tower picture? Or the picture of everyone taking the holding up the tower picture? The Sears Tower in Chicago. If you're a tourist in the city take an architecture boat tour instead or have a drink at the signature room in the Hancock and enjoy the view from there. Times Square New York. It's just a bunch of lights in a soup of steaming sewage with overpriced swag. Go to Central Park. Get gelato. Go to Chinatown. Little Korea. Little Italy. Or even other boroughs for cheaper cuisine and beautiful sights. Anywhere else. Clearwater. FL. You can just drive an extra 10 minutes south of it and get the same quality beach but with no people. Paris is the only destination I know of with a medical disorder named for people who visit it and are subsequently disappointed because it didn't live up to their expectations. Wall drug in South Dakota. I'm not sure if all highways around there have the billboards. But driving from Wisconsin you see wall drug billboards for hundreds of miles. As a kid we stopped there and it seemed like a massive place full of candy toys. As an adult I stopped there with my wife, so she could experience it, and it was way smaller than I remember and full of crap you wouldn't want to buy. The Badlands. Crazy Horse. Mount Rushmore. Deadwood. And Custer State Park are all worth seeing. Imo though. Space Needle in Seattle. It's an expensive elevator ride. The Alamo. Just an old building with a bunch of tourist traps built around it to suck money out of your wallet. Las Vegas. I am by no means a prude. But that place is horrific. Phuket. Thailand. Planning a vacation there during high season, November to March, means you'll be sharing the beach with tons of other tourists. And while this may improve if you go during low season, 
you'll most likely be dealing with more rain at that time of year. Plus, trash and water quality is a problem. Bourbon Street in Nola. It's filthy. Smells like piss. There's shitty beer everywhere. And there's enough broken glass on the ground to warrant open container laws. Hollywood Boulevard. It's ugly. Full of tourist traps and there's tons of homeless people that look really unwell mentally. Rockefeller sent a Christmas tree in New York City. I was shocked at the mob it gathers. I guess for a whole month it is like that. You have to avoid the entire block around it unless you want to slowly shuffle through a massive group of people for 30 minutes for what would otherwise be a 5 minute walk. It is nuts how it grinds the whole part of town to a halt. The tree and building are cool enough. But not worth the headache. Cancun. Yes it's beautiful. But doesn't represent the beauty of Mexico. Go to Merida. The food is better and the nature is great. It. People who don't understand that the point of a lot of these is to see something in person which has significance in one fashion or another. Not that the abstract majesty of that thing can only be seen in person. It's like going why do people go to concerts? The recording sounds way better. Double quote. I'm imagining a whole shitload of people here thinking if they do a quick google image search for every historical landmark or famous piece of art that it means there's no reason to ever take a trip to anywhere to see anything and they can just sit in their bedrooms forever without levo. Right. Atlantis during one of those Bahamas cruises. Man it was so dirty and that long slide tube that takes you through the sharks is so dirty you can't even see and the slide is so long you get stuck halfway and have to buy shimmy all the way to the end. Stonehenge. It's a set of rocks out in the middle of a field that smells of sheep shit. It was kind of cool for a few minutes. But it's far too big of a hassle to get to. Mannequin pies in Brussels. A tiny little statue in the corner of a building surrounded by too many tourists trying to take silly photos with it. The problem is visiting mannequin pie sober. You're not supposed to do that. It's Belgium FFS. Myrtle Beach. South Carolina. I'm sure there are a couple of places that are nice in the area. But the whole beach area and all the areas where all the attractions hotels. Beaches restaurants were full of the trashiest. Most disrespectful people I've ever seen. It was so dirty of really where you went. Garbage. Etc. People everywhere were constantly getting so drunk high they would throw up or fall down. Or both no matter time of day. It was fn gross. You could not pay me to go back. Venice. It seems to only exist to cater for tourists and feel like an overcrowded. Pointless and crap theme park. There are thousands of shops selling the same crap overpriced cafes and restaurants and some sites to see. Awful place. One of the few places I have been that I would recommend avoiding. San Francisco. Traffic is hell. And I wouldn't take anyone under 18 or over 50 on BART. It's cramped. Dirty. Unfriendly. And chilly. There's more crime than you would think. Graffiti everywhere. Homeless all over downtown. On the other hand. They have loads of great burger places and niche restaurants. Didn't see it here yet so Niagara Falls. Both you. S and Canadian sides have crowded viewing areas but other than seeing rushing water for 5 minutes. Everything you can spend money on is a ripoff. Even chain restaurants charge more there than they normally would. That being said. One or two nights at the Hilton that connects to the casino on the Canadian side is a family getaway tradition and the Brazilian steakhouse is pretty good. San Francisco, unless used heroin needles. Human waste and lunatics are what you call a good time. I'm former resident for a reason. City would be one of the most beautiful in the country if they made all of the people leave. The Trevi Fountain. It was crowded. Smelled like piss. Full of scammers and people hawking shitty toys. The police wore assault rifles and you couldn't walk two feet without being hassled. Also. It's a ref king fountain. I woke up early one morning to try and see it by myself. And was still hassled by some guy trying to give me a friendship bracelet. When I told him to fck off. He started screaming racist at the top of his lungs. 
I'll stick to the one in Vegas. Wall Drug and Wall. South Dakota. When I was 14. My family took a trip out west, United States. For what felt like thousands of miles. We were harassed by billboards begging us to visit Wall Drug. With no real destination in mind. We decided to go see what all the fuss was about. The experience was so incredibly boring that I don't remember much of it besides the fact that the $0.50 coffee, which I was hyped about as it had been a long trip, tasted like it had been sitting on a counter for 3 days. Reheated in a weak microwave. And then cut with the soap. The free water, you will see advertisements about this once in a lifetime offer for miles, tasted vaguely carcinogenic. Beyond that, I remember a vast amount of kiosks with overpriced gifts, I got one of those little velvet pouches full of polished rocks for my friend for like $15, and a vast amount of equally road weary travelers wearing identical expressions of overwhelming disappointment. For years. We had a bumper sticker on our refrigerator that said. Have you dug wall drug? Double quote. I did not dig wall drug. The pyramids of Giza. They are relatively tiny and completely surrounded by scammers thieves. The pyramids of Sudan are cooler. Or the herbal citadel. Well that was just about every single place I've wanted to visit. Fuck it. I'll just stay home. Mike's Pastry in Boston if you want to wait in 5 mile line to eat a mediocre cannoli go right ahead. Mount Rushmore. Man you see all these pictures full zoom and you get there and it's so much smaller than you expect. Still an amazing achievement but it was for sure a tiny let down. Dubai. It's held up as one of the premier tourist destinations in the world. But when I was there it felt like an amusement park under construction. The view from my hotel window looked half like a modern city and half a poor typical Middle Eastern town you might see in any movie. The entire time I was there it felt like I was being shuttled from one tourist spot to another. I usually like to walk around a city and take it in. But Dubai was terrible for that. Given how spread out everything is. Rio de Janeiro's beaches. I mean. They're amazing but Rio has a lot more to offer than that. The whole country has a lot of culture. A lot wonderful places to visit. But every single time somebody says to me they're coming to Brazil. They're coming to Rio and they're coming to the beaches. 1. You're getting ripped off. 2. Northeast has more beautiful beaches. 3. You're getting robbed. The Height Ashbury. Hyde Street. Runs east to west. Ashbury cuts across. There's nothing there. People must show up there and think WTF. Dot. Hyde Street in general has plenty of shops. If you're into that. But at Hyde and Ashbury. There's a Ben and Jerry's. I guess if you think about it. What exactly would you expect to see there? Nothing. That's precisely what's there. Bolly. I went there alone for 4 weeks to volunteer. That was great. Living with locals getting to know them every day. Learning recipes. Language. Culture and just their lifestyle. Getting to know the people we worked with and meeting people from all over the world. The coordinators at the work site always brought us random food for lunch and it was always so good. We had weekends off and went out at night. The busy touristy part of Ubud with restaurants and stores wasn't anything great at all. Mediocre food you can get elsewhere in 90% of the shops was touristy crap. Where the owners will grab you to try to get you to buy stuff. Famous beaches were expensive and dirty. Cancun or Puerto Vallarta. It's a toss up. Both might have been cool 15-20 years ago but now they're done to death and just tourist traps designed to milk you of your pesos. There's so many way cooler places to visit. In Mexico. That one village in Austria I think it was where 300 people have to deal with million people annually. I mean. There's a lot of those authentic villages in Germany and Austria and wherever. But just because Frozen 2 was partly shot there does not make it particularly prettier or something. Mogadishu. Manila. I cringe at how many tourists walk around with their cameras out. There are a lot of better places to visit in the Philippines. If you ever find yourself here. Do yourself a favor and skip Manila if you can. If you happen to land in Metro Manila. 
Spend your time eating good food instead. Sydney. Australia. People come to see a lousy bridge. And opera house. You should only go there once. See all the places and come back. I've been there seven times and the amount of tourists never ceased to surprise me. Like. All that you came to Australia for is a bridge and opera house. You can find those in your home country. An Australian citizen. Punta del Este. Uruguay. Shitty beaches. Everything is stupid overpriced and overcrowded. Yet losers with money feel they're a part of something prestigious by going there and acting retarded. Can't stress enough on the overpriced thing. You'd be paying literally 10 times more for anything and it's not even that it's expensive because of its quality. I feel like a lot of people commenting on this thread are just locals trying to get tourists to steer clear. Top of the Eiffel Tower. Massive line. Met. View. Basically all of them. The thing about tourist destinations is that they're full of tourists. Tourists are fat. Loud. Filthy. Entitled miscreants who trample everything in their path for the gram. As a bonus. Some of them are from countries with extremely high population densities. Meaning they find notions like not elbowing people in the face to get on the same gondola one second earlier to be quaint displays of weakness. Dubai. Horrid city. Soulless. Dystopian. Colorado. It's full of Californians. Maldives. There's lots of other islands like if not even better. Vegas. At least the strip. It's just one big tourist trap that's designed to separate you from as much of your money as possible. Everyone seems to always go to Vegas expecting it'll be like the movies. Going in with a few bucks and leaving a high roller. That rarely if ever happens. And it's a dangerous lie that probably leaves a lot of desperate people destitute. Ryonji Temple in Kyoto. It's the one with the famous rock garden. It's pretty small and... When I went in early 2015. Early crowd. I say 2015 because tourism there has more than doubled since. It was the most disappointing place I went to in Japan. Not because it's bad. But it's just not that impressive. Probably didn't help that I had just gone to Ninergy. Which is pretty close by. Several times cooler. And with literally 5% of the traffic. There were maybe a dozen other people there at the same time. Plymouth Rock is a small stone in the bottom of a well surrounded by cigarette butts and empty beer cans. The MoMA has a lot of great art. But it's very crowded with people and the rooms are too small. You're constantly getting bumped into getting out of people's way and you have to jockey for position if you want a decent picture of any of the really iconic stuff. The Met. Whitney and Guggenheim are way more fun to walk around in. Four Corners. It's literally in the middle of absolutely nothing. It's crowded AF and it's literally just a sign on the ground that says you're between the states. South of the border in South Carolina. It's heavily advertised along I-95 and looks like a great place to shop for souvenirs and get a bite to eat. It's just a massive pile of cheap Chinese plastic crap and silly hats in a day glow atmosphere of sadness.